When Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my god how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art my morning voice here okay I don't know, I just keep I keep singing that song to myself, so I had to sing it again. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming, folks. Like, he is at the door. My cat Larry is freaking out, like, he never freaks out. And I'm up at, I was up at 4 o'clock this morning, and I used to be a morning person. But since I moved here to West Texas, I haven't been so much because I've been staying up really late. But, um... Let me tell you something. Jesus is at the door. I hope you're ready. Cry out to him. He wants to hear you crying out to him. How great thou art. Okay? I have the Holy Ghost right now so strong. It is so strong. It's like it's like he's standing. It's like he's standing at the door. I want to go to the door and 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 tell him to come in the next. Maybe I'll start the next video with me going to the door to see if if he's standing there because I'm so ready for him. Okay, we're gonna read Exodus chapter 14. Hallelujah! And isn't this story of Exodus just amazing? And, you know, I've learned, I knew this story. I know this story. I've heard this story, but I never really knew this story. It's amazing. And all of the, every single video that I've made, which is more than 700, like 800 something, maybe 900 videos by now, since May the 13th. Every single word has jumped through the computer. I read it off of the computer, but I have my Bible, and I want to show you um, real quick. Um, my Bible is here. I'll put it here so you can see. You can't really see it in the dark, but this is my Bible. I have my magnifying glass. My Bible. It is all. It's got lots of stuff, but I. And I have my little, my page markers here that are ready. And I have, anyway, the words of God have jumped off of the pages. I think it's, it, I mean, look, this is what a friend of mine sent me this in jail. I will sail my vessel till the rivers all run dry like a bird upon the winds. These waters are my sky. I'll never reach my destination if I never try. Anyway, that the friend of mine sent me. That was a note that somebody sent me. My friend sent me when I was in prison. This is my Bible. It's upside down, actually. Here's one of my lay-ins from prison. Oh, look, check it out. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> How appropriate. Whenever you're in prison, in order for you to, to leave the place where you're stationed, um, you have to get a pass. And this is called TDC Day, TDCJ, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, official lay-in pass for the day that I was released, October 23rd, 2014. Reason? Release. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That that's, where, that's the page that I came to. 
Jesus is coming, okay? Jesus is coming. He's coming for us. And here's my... And I'll never go broke because I always have one dollar. No, Bible. <laughs> Jesus is coming. Anyway, this is my Bible, but I read it off of the computer because it's easier for me to do it. Okay? That's my Bible. And I always have it. I take it everywhere I go. I never leave it. It goes everywhere with me. Okay. <laughs> then sings my soul. Okay. <laughs> Jesus is at the door, people. He loves you all so much. He loves me. And look, if you can see this. Can you see my kitty cat? That's Larry. He's sitting here right now beside me. He wants to play right now. And I have a few, I don't know if you can see on the TV, but I have, I like to watch these go, these, these, um, let me put it on here. They're groundhogs and it's chunk. And then, okay, well, they have ads and you can't really see it, but <laughs> chunk the groundhog, y'all, if you never, they are the cutest things ever to watch. They eat, look at them. You can't really see them. Check the groundhog. Watch them. They will make you, they will make you, they will give you so much joy. Watching them eat. Larry's tail's in the way. You can't really see them. But, um, I'm going to turn it off right now because it, it interferes with my video. But I would check the groundhog. And I also watch, um, Mr. Max. He's a cockatoo, and his owner does videos every morning, and and I like to watch him. It gives me a lot of joy. <laughs> and I also watch the Southwest Florida Eagle Cam, Harriet and M15's Nest, and they're, they're miracle babies. They're getting ready to leave home here pretty soon. But I like birds. I didn't know I liked groundhogs until I started watching it. Chunk the groundhog. But if you need to laugh, if you want to giggle, if you want some joy, watch Mr. Max, the cockatoo, and watch Chunk the Groundhog. And watch the Southwest Florida Eagle Cam. It'll give you great joy. Okay. Exodus chapter 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they turn and encamp between... <laughs> I love these words that I can't pronounce. Piaheroth, between Migdal and the sea, over against Baal-Zephon, before before it ye shall encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, that he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon, and upon all his hosts, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. And it was told to the king of Egypt that the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this? That we have let the let Israel go from serving us. Because, you know, they were used to having all, you know, what, 700,000 servants? And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took 600 chosen chariots and all the chariots of Egypt and captains of every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with, with an high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them by encamping by the sea beside Piahiroth Pi Pi before Baal-Zephon. Baal 
And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And see, right now, the Lord wants us to cry out to him, not to the government, not to anybody else. Cry out to the Lord. If you're afraid of what's going on in this world, cry out to the Lord, and he will hear you. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt us with dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall show you, show to you the day to today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. But lift, but lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, that they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And when it, and it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave them light by night to these. So that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea a dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon dry ground, and the waters were a wall, upon, wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them in the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians." And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Hallelujah. The, thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And it, and Israel, and Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the Lord feared, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and His servant Moses. Well, how amazing! Can you imagine? Can you imagine the Lord is going to do that for us too? He is going to deliver us out of this evil world in the same sort of miraculous way that He delivered the children of Israel. Hallelujah.